Hi guys, back again with another video. Now this time we are going to look at Ofo cycles. So they are actually a new thing which Magarpatta city has started. So it has been there uh, from 2014. It's not an Indian company. Uh, there's no full form for Ofo. It's just a symbol uh, because it re uh, it resembles a person uh, riding a bike. So let's see. Uh, let's see how to actually install the app, how to use it, what are the features that you get with this bike. Uh, now for this, I can't do it. So uh, I have a model with me, uh, Dutuja. Hey guys. So uh, Dutuja will be riding the bike for us. Uh, she will see. Uh, how it is uh, if there's, uh, there's no feature involved with it there's no uh, uh, speed control or anything with it it's just a regular bike but there's technology built into it that we'll talk about so let's go ahead look at the app okay so we're going to unlock the bike so first we'll uh, look at the software so that's the software ofo you'll have to install that uh, right now you have a discount so it used to be 999 now you can get it for 99 rupees and you get free rides. So right now I'm in Magapata city so it will show me the map. Now in the map it will show me all the cycles. Now I am standing right in front of one so I don't really need to search for the cycle. So I'll click on the unlock option uh, at the bottom. Now I'll scan the QR code. So once I scan it. Okay 40, 50, 60, 70. And then you see that it unlocked now this one did not unlock properly it took uh, i mean it got stuck but it generally just opens up completely so that's done now you'll see that a timer has started on the phone and now you can start riding the bike Done with the cycling. Now you'll have to uh, lock the system. So you have to press this and it gets locked. So you get that sound. Once it's locked, it's done. So trip completed. I have locked it. Okay, so we've done with the testing. So let's ask Rituja how was her experience. So basically, I, I did ask her uh, what did she uh, feel about the OFO cycle. So there are a few things that she did not like. So first was the handle. So what was about the handle that you didn't like? The handle was too loose and because okay. of that I it was unable for me to take a turn. Okay, so the handle was too loose. So it's not like your regular uh, cycle where it's a little uh, tight where you can uh, have a better grip or better turning radius. Yeah, exactly. Now it depends from cycle to cycle. These are not meant for exercising or anything. I think these are just for traveling for, uh, in, from point A to point B type kind of cycle maybe that's the reason why they are there uh, they are that way uh, the second thing that she did not like was the pedal they were a little hard so yeah, the so, pedal were too hard like it, it was unable it was not easy for me to yeah so for for you it was uh, not that uh, comfortable. comfortable you were not able to pedal, pedal it, it well uh, but we didn't uh, ride for too long so the first shot that we took was just for two to three minutes later on we rode for uh, five ten minutes more uh, but that's the same uh, thing that i had yes the seats can be adjusted according to your height that was one more issue that she had uh, other than that all in all a good thing uh, in the app itself if there are problems with the cycle you can uh, put in uh, that information that uh, i had this problem so they will fix that problem for you so at least that's what the app is supposed to do. Uh, I don't know. I've never tested it. So all in all, good experience. Right now it's free. So I think uh, you all should try it. Okay, so let's talk about the technology built into the OFO bikes. So basically, uh, there are two, three things. Uh, one, it's self-energized or self-driven. Uh, the, they don't have to be charged. Uh, there's a dynamo fit into it, which uh, when you cycle it rotates and it creates electricity and charges the bike itself so that's why the bike has a flashing light in the back uh, which alerts people that there's a bike in front uh, the power is used by the gps chip uh, the chip inside and the locking mechanism and the sound that it makes so all that uses power so all the power is created by the bike itself 
so that's the reason the bike is a little hard the pedal is a little hard it's not your like a regular uh, cycle bike uh, cycle pedals where it's loose this is a little hard so that's one of the technologies the main technology that's involved is in the lock so the lock has a new LTE chip in it so it basically went through generations where it had 2G where it had manual no uh, chip in it so you had to put in the number from the app and then open it and then use it and then lock it and keep it and then from the app it takes your GPS location and then sends it so the other person can search so it was not that effective but it was a starting then they went to 2G so 2G was also better but the only problem was 2G connectivity issues by the time the code is sent to the bike it's like 20 30 seconds delay so that much of money is being charged to the customer so then they went and collaborated with Huawei and made a chip so that's basically a LTE chip which works on a lower frequency so that frequency is not being used by anyone so uh, that's why the bandwidth is clear so it can piggyback on your existing networks so that's why they can just implement it in any city it's easy for them and it's cost effective since the cycle is self-powered you don't have to do anything uh, only when the repairs needed then you can take it and repair it. so that's a good initiative so uh, excellent technology uh, yes if uh, your GPS doesn't work or internet doesn't work or all these things then there are uh, manual options also on the bike there's a number pad you can press the number pad and open it up so that's the technology involved with Pofo bikes okay so the impression on uh, this initiative is very good i really like the initiative i actually am going to magarpatta now and then i leave my bike and then i take the cycle and go for a round and then come back and keep it because i don't get the time to do cycling i do weights i'm a i'm a weights guy so i don't really do cycling uh, so in between when i have time so i use this i use uh, the cycles over here and then uh, my exercise is also done and then i travel from point A to point B so uh, the only thing is it's limited to a certain area if you look in the app there's a green line around it uh, that's the area that you can use the bike in out of that it's not allowed I don't know what will happen uh, maybe it'll auto lock or it'll may start making a siren sound or something but I have not tried that I do not want to get caught so I'm not doing that right now but I'll find out uh, I'll keep a lookout for people who are trying to do that so uh, that's it for this video. If you like the video, please subscribe, hit the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video. Bye-bye.